Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're coming back, I thank you for joining me. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I'm just going to do a purple look. I have a purple shirt on, so I was thinking why not go ahead and do a purple look as well. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started. And for this, um, I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with a spray primer this time and with the other one that I was using because um, it's a liquid foundation that I'm going to use. So I do prep my skin before, I just don't set it afterwards. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just use again this Catrice. Um, this one is, is a really good primer. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And just take like a dime size amount, not even a dime size, but just a little bit. Just put this on. Rub it in again. Just put it on your face so it'll set. And then um, I also take the NYX uh, Bear With Me Professional Spray. This is a really good spray to set your primer, lock it into place. I just spray it on my face just a few times, let it dry. And these primers, you just let them sit for like a couple minutes and then you can go on with your application. Um, but in the meantime, while that's drying, I know people like to do their eyes first and then prime, but I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my skin first and then we'll go ahead and get into the um, eyeshadow. So I'm again, I'm just gonna do a purple look today. <clears throat> And again, I'm gonna prime my eyelids as well because the eye, the eye primer for your eyelids that just makes your eyeshadow pop, like, you know, stand out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here again. And try not to use too much this time. Last time I overdid it. So just put that on there. And again, you just rub it into your eyelid it'll set it'll get tacky and dry and then just go on with your eyeshadow so kind of let that sit in and then again we'll go ahead and use a purple uh, palette so this one that i have is called breakfast in bed it is from Beauty Bakery, um, and it's a really nice palette. So in this palette, there's some shades of purple. I think they're really pretty. I thought it would go with today's look, and I'm not going nowhere. I'm just doing this video for you guys. So, so it's another basic, like, get ready with me, but we're just using the color purple. All right, so I'm just going to take a blending shade. So the blending shade here, I'm probably just going to use transition shade. I'm probably going to use this color here to start with, and then we'll go in with the purples. I hope everybody is having a good day today. It's kind of gloomy where I'm at, um, but I hope everybody's doing well. Just putting this on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a transition shade. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some of these eyeshadows I noticed in this palette, it can be like hit or miss. Um, I've used it before. It's kind of dry. It's like a dry formula. Um, so be prepared for that if you buy it. I mean, beautiful colors, but the the formula is dry like you really have to blend and it may turn out a little bit splotchy as well like right here I'm trying to blend this in and it's not budging this the thing with makeup you know hits and misses it's just like life trials and things like that so but yeah this this is a beautiful palette but it just it's not blending out that well 
Um, so I'm going to go in, let me see here, I'll probably mix a couple colors. So I'm going to go with a few of these purple colors here, see what it can create. don't look too bad it's just again it's a dry formula so yeah I'm just taking these two colors right here I don't know if you can see yeah just taking these two colors right here and I'm just going to use those blend them mix them in together let's see what it creates and this brush that I'm using is a wet and wild brush this is one of my favorite brushes um, it's a it's a really good blending brush. I love this brush. One of my favorite brushes in my makeup collection. So I went ahead and put that on, but again, this is a dry formula, so it is looking a little splotchy. Actually, it actually has my eye kind of watering. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can darken up these colors. Let's see if I can get a little bit darker. I'm just going to use a different makeup brush. And I'm going to try and go in maybe with this color up here and see if we can get something going from this now. For some reason it's being a little bit difficult, but again, it's a dry palette. It's a dry formula palette, but pretty colors. It's just not paying off for me. It's okay. Um, and then I might just go in with the shimmer. There's a purple shimmer here. I may go in with that purple shimmer. And I might use my finger for that. Because they say, you know, if you use your fingers or if you like try and spray um, your brush and then dip it into, sp yeah, spray your brush and dip it into the product and you put it on, then it like enhances it. It makes it shiny. But I'll just go ahead and test it out with my finger and see if it will show up. I just do it like that, and we'll see if it shows up or not. So it does show up a little bit. I do like the color. But you have to kind of like be generous with your application, because I know like I have to keep putting it in there to make it show up but it's okay it's all right it's a pretty color I like the color so I'll just do the next side next eyelid the same shimmer on there And what do you guys like? Like my influencers, well, because they're so big, you know, and popular. Um, do you like watching the full, you know, application of eyeshadow? Because I know here lately or for a while um, you see influencers putting on their eyeshadow and they'll do one eye regular and then they'll speed up the next one. I don't know if that's just to save time on the, you know, video that they're, you know, creating or what, but... Me, personally, I like to watch the whole application because I want to see, you know what I'm saying? If you're having problems, cre you know, blending in the crease, I want to see it. If, you know, I just want to see the whole process. What's your guys' intake on that? I like, you know, I like watching the whole thing. I don't like things to be sped up all the time. Um, but I get if you're doing like a voiceover or something like that, and, you know, that's the video that you created for it to be like that. But what do you guys, what do you guys like to see? All right, so now we have the eyeshadow on there. I think it looks okay. Again, it's it's all right. It's just dry, um, but it is a pretty palette. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna do, I don't think I'm really gonna do any eyeliner. I'm gonna leave it like that because you know I want the eyeshadow to show for this video. Um, so therefore we will go ahead, I'll go ahead and put, um, my foundation on 
and today we are going to use the Makeup Revolution 12.2 foundation. That's my shade. I love this um, foundation, but the thing is with this foundation, it seems like it makes my skin look a little orange, but the, the application is flawless. When you put it on, it has a beautiful, beautiful finish. So we'll go ahead and do that today. It's very nice. So, um, so that's the color on my skin. And I just put like a couple stripes on there. We'll put that on, take it from there. Actually, let me just pull my hair back. Let's say this, because I want it in my hair. All right, so then for this, I'm just going to take a sponge and just apply it on my face, or apply it on my face. It's already applied on my face. I'm just gonna take a sponge and press it in. So like, it's really full coverage. I love it. It's just the tone. Like when I finish with this, I'm going to look like an orange. Maybe not to you on camera, but like if I was to go out, it has like a little orangey tint on there for some reason. They just need to work on the shade range and stuff. And I think it'd be perfect. But it, like I said, it's a real good foundation. Nice coverage. So, but yeah, it looks really nice. I'm debating if I want eyeliner. Uh, I'm not gonna put eyeliner on the top, but I'll maybe put some eyeliner on my bottom lid. So, go ahead and get my eyeliner. I will link the products that I'm using down below. See, I feel on camera that I look more orange. Maybe not, but I feel that I look orange. I'll go ahead and put my eyeliner on here. me doing that I should have waited it's all good all right so there's the eyeliner on the bottom lid um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put on my concealer so again I'm using the L'Oreal concealer I have 400 and 415 I do mix the shades um, I'll link everything down below that I'm using um, I linked the products in my last video, but for some reason it's not like linking yet. So it may just be a process uh, for it to become link, you know, linkable in the description box. But I will list these products again for you of what I'm using today. And again, I mixed two shades. So, so I'm going in with the this is 415 first. And now I'm going in with the 400. And I'm just mixing it on there. I know I'm probably not applying it right, but it is what it is. Do what works for you guys. I am not a professional by all means. I'm just here, you know, doing what I like to do. So this is what I'm doing in my spare time. So this is what I'm doing. Sharing myself with you guys. Makeup. Um, so again, you just let this sit for a little bit and then we're going to blend it out.
So again, you're just blending this out here. And even when you're blending it out, you want to wait a, you know, a couple minutes to put your powder on to set everything. Because um, you want to blend them creases out the best that you can. I mean, there's no way that you're going to be able to, you know, avoid creasing. Well, I guess maybe you younger ones, you can avoid the creasing pretty good. But me, um, I have to set it couple minutes after like blending in the creases so all right so we are about to set it now the powder again I'm using that Maybelline fit me powder um, we're gonna go ahead and set it I love this powder but it's so messy so again I have the shade medium deep so we're gonna go ahead and put that on again just take it off Dust the edges of it with your sponge, and you'll be good to go. And just set. I know I probably seem kind of blah. I'm fine. I'm just tired. A little bit but I'm doing okay it's just kind of a gloomy day you know sometimes gloomy days just make you feel kind of you know kind of blah I guess it's got to me like that but the show must go on so looks like the Sun is trying to creep out a little bit now so that's good I love the sunshine I love the sunshine when warm weather when warm weather hits, I will be out in the sun. That's for sure. I love the sun. I love the warmth. But I'll probably end up um, creating me a vlog channel too, um, like a you know days in my life, you know type of videos. So you can see, um, you know, see what goes on in my life. But yeah, I think vlogs will be good too. So you can actually try to get to, you know, act like you know the person, get to know what they like, what they do, their everyday activities, things like that. But yeah. Um, I'll probably create me a vlog channel. Um, that'll probably be coming soon. I think it's just fun. I think I would do it just for fun. It's fun, you know. It's fun. For outings and things like that. What goes on in my life in a day. And you guys can see. I gotta wipe my lips off. Every time I put foundation and powder on, I have to wipe my lips off. I always get foundation on my lips. So, take a baby wipe and wipe it off. And then now we are going to do bronzer and highlight. Again, I really don't do blush. I'm not really a big fan of blush, but I will every now and then. I will put that in my video. I, I will do that. So, I'll do that for you guys because they got some cute shades. Some of the shades are really pretty. So let me get my bronzer palette here. All right, so again, I'm using the Ace Beauté palette. So go ahead and put this on here. And again, I'm using the first three shades. And just apply it. And then we'll go ahead and do highlights. So if you want your highlight to pop, like if you really want your highlight to pop, um, they say that you just spray your brush, dip in the highlight and put it on. We're gonna try that today. So again, I'm using the Huda, Be I can't talk. Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. 
and again I'm using these colors here so I'm going just to blend in probably maybe the first top two colors so I'm gonna use these top two shades right here and actually let me spray my brush I told you I was gonna spray my brush so you guys can see how this highlighter pop actually no you dip and spray yeah let me do it so you're gonna dip and then spray so I'm gonna go ahead and just dip in here spray my brush just a couple times and you put it on now for the sake of the video I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it's like you see that it's just like beaming right so you put that on there that's a little bit too much but it is what it is it's for the video so that's how you make your highlighter pop um, I'm gonna look like a clown but, and then I just put a little bit on my I don't need much I just put a little bit up of my brow bone and um, I'm gonna blend this out because I don't like how that looks that's a little cakey and mm -mm. I'm gonna blend that out some so yeah, just blend it out with that sponge that you just used that way it doesn't look so harsh so fix that mm -mm. can't have all that all right so it still shows it's just not as you know thick as it was because that was like piled on there so that's that all right and we'll go ahead and put on mascara and we should be good to go again i'm using the essence lash princess and we're going to put that on I love this mascara. This is like, hands down, one of the best mascaras they could ever come out with. I have this cut, well, I have this one in the green top, and then um, I have another one that's like in the pink. It has a pink cover on it. These are really good. And then if you're ever like putting on your mascara and you see that you're getting mascara underneath your eyes, all you have to do, um, let that sit for a minute and then just take your sponge and you can just blend it out and it'll disappear. I do that all the time. And I'm sorry for any background noise. I gotta figure out that feature on here as well. So I apologize for any background noise. I know the first video I posted, there was like, I think there were sirens and there was a lot of popping noises in here. Um, so I apologize for any noise that you may hear. But I don't think there would, I don't think this would be a video without any noise in it. So I went ahead and applied the mascara and that's that. All right, so now that we've added the mascara and let that sit for a moment, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that mascara that got underneath my eyes here. So again, just take your sponge, you know. Sponge, press it down underneath and that will even minimize some of your creases as well. Um, nobody has perfect skin, so just remember that. Just do the best that you can do. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and add my lip gloss. Of course, my favorite lip gloss, the Essence Shine Lip Gloss. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Right. 
So we went ahead and did that, added that on there, and we are pretty much set. We'll take the hair out. And yeah, we are pretty much set, guys. That is the look. Um, that's pretty much it. So um, if you like what you see, don't worry. I will have more content you know, to upload, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for stopping by. Even if you're not subscribed, silent viewers are always welcome as well. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.